The kickoff for the high school football season is right around the corner, and now school divisions are finalizing their plans to help players return to the field safely. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder is live tonight. She is in Roanoke with the breakdown of what players and fans can expect this season. Annie? Well, John, it's been well over a year since any of these players have actually played in a game. Of course, there are changes to every aspect of this season from the players to the fans and everything in between. Let's go! After months of planning and preparation, local football is back in Southwest Virginia. I think once our athletes get back on the field and they're doing their thing, uh, it kind of puts COVID and all that behind them a little bit. A winter season is something Patrick Henry High School Athletic Director F.L. Slough could have never imagined, but he says his players and coaches are making the most of it. They've come in here in a tough situation and they have had to step up and, and do something totally different. Roanoke City and Allegheny Health District Director Dr. Cynthia Morrow says her staff have been meeting with superintendents each week to make sure mitigation strategies are in place to keep players safe. It is critically important that everyone continue to follow the community mitigation strategies. Um, the last thing we want to happen is to see reversal in this downward trend. During practice Friday, Patrick Henry players prepared for their home opener Monday night. This season, the players will be wearing face shields inside their helmets to lower the risk of spreading COVID-19. So we've had to uh, implement a lot of mitigation strategies, uh, wearing masks, social distancing, washing hands, uh, monitoring what we're doing. After a year of sacrifices and changes from their students during the pandemic, school division leaders say they are looking forward to giving their students a chance to play, even though it will be unlike any season before. We want to make sure that we're offering that for them to help with their mental health, to help with their day-to-day -day, uh, adjustments to COVID. Now, coming up on 10 News at 6, I'll break down the specific guidelines set by the governor's office for when it comes to attendance at games this year. Live in Roanoke tonight, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.